Hey YouTube, Dan Otto here, coming up to my first Match League Premier Classic team, double high horsepower. So high horsepower is a newer-ish move. Um, Ursa Luna right there got it for the community day and then they allowed Mamoswine to get it and Mamoswine is already like sort of one of the better Match League Premier Classic Pokemon. Uh, so a high horsepower is just a upgrade from Bulldoze and it was already good so it should be even better. And, I'm, and I want to try Ursa Luna because someone mentioned it in the comments the other day. So I'm like, let's just put on double high horsepower team. Let's check it out, see how it works. So they're both weak to fighting, right? So I paired it with a Gyarados as, as an answer. So Gyarados for Gyarados and lead. I end up catching a Crunch here. Because uh, you want to try and pull out a fighter. There's not a ton of fighters. There'll be one in my next video. Um, and then X Drill comes in. And this is, so I took a Crunch already. I'm going to take a Drill Run. And you still do over okay. So it's okay in bulk right high horsepower would one shot here so they're gonna have to shield so i got one shield back and we cmp so that's great so this will take me out unless they undercharge if i remember one of the one of the games someone undercharged they rock slide me i guess that was kind of the way they're charging so this will come back in here the problem is so extra no extra is not tough for this team um What's tough for this team? Ex eh, extra, no. Metagross was a little tricky for this team to a certain extent. Uh, I'll go over the strengths and weaknesses of each Pokemon in one second. I think, well, Gyarados I don't really need to talk about because Gyarados is just a beast. Uh, it'll be one of the best in this league. Anytime you can have a uh, something with Dragon Breath that doesn't take super effective from Dragon itself is always good. Aqua Tail's a nice spammy fast move for Exodrill, Mamoswine, or Saluna, like there's a lot of things. Crunch is just nice coverage for Metagross. Just all around, super strong Pokemon. Um, yes, Mamoswine is, if I'm gonna run one hor high horsepower, it's gonna be Mamoswine. The Avalanche is a hard hitting move. High horsepower is a hard hitting move. There's so much like Dragon. I saw a ton of Dragon today. I saw a ton of Gyarados today. So I gotta all address that in my next video on Monday. Uh, but there is a ton of Dragon, like a lot of a lot of uh, Dragonites, a few Guard Trumps I saw. Um, it hits neutral against Excadrill. You can high horsepower now, one shot uh, Excadrill or Metagross. You do decent against like Snorlax. So it's just like a super all around Pokemon. Again, there's not a ton of fighter that you have to worry about. There's not a ton of water, right? There's Waterfall Gyarados, and Gyarados is a little tricky, but a couple avalanches hurt. <laughs> like we'll take out Gyarados. So. Mamoswine, pretty good. Ursaluna, tanky Pokemon. The problem is the fast move. It only knows Tackle and... So I played against someone else today, and it's a, a Rock-type move? What was the second move? I forget what the second move was. Or a fast move? Brick Break? I forget what the second type... Let me actually just look it up well before I start guessing here. Uh, but there's only two moves, and the other one was less energy generation. Uh, which really limits it because high horsepower even with tackle takes a while to get to so it's tackle and where's the second move here rock smash yeah so <laughs> a fighting type move with a rock in it so that's why i thought okay rock smash uh but it's not rock smash is not a good move tackle is not a good move so thunder punch is a is a cover move but like there's so much in this meta right now that that thunder punch doesn't do anything against like, it's good against the uh, Gyarados, which is great, but, like, you can't do anything against ground-type Pokemon. So, anything from... I saw Swampert's today. I saw Extra Drills today. I saw Garchomp's today, right? You just... Like, th uh, the Thunder Punch is useless, which then forces you to rely on high horsepower, but tackles a slower-charging fast move. So, to get to high horsepower takes a while. So, the good news is you're tanky, but your bait move is bad for most things and you have to land the high horsepower but it takes a while to get to so i was underwhelmed with it on my first go around um i think it's one of those things that i think it worked in this team because it's one of those pokemon that works well if you can get shield down on your opponent because then you can just high horsepower them right i catch here did i catch a rock slide here i think yeah, so a good catch there. Um, but even in this one, like, these Dragon Tails are adding up. 
I can only throw a neutral Thunder Punch because the dragon resists it, but it does have flying, so it's gonna be neutral. Like, doesn't do a lot. These, they're still adding up, so you're not like, a, like an amazing bulk. So yeah, it kind of underperformed in my opinion. I think it works. It you need it. So you have you need coverage for Dragonite, which I have two. So it's just kind of unlucky alignment there. Your, your hardest losses are to Dragonite and Mammoth Swine because you're half rock, so you take super effective from the ice. Uh, Extra Gel is not a good matchup either. You lose it, and you need to bait there too. So it's very bait dependent. So I think it's one of those better Pokemon if you can get shields down. So if you're other two Pokemon, so use it as a closer if you're going to use their Saluna. Use it as a closer. I, I did it. I played this matchup, so I just caught it multiple times, the crunch. Um, and it's just one where I stay in, not even thinking about the Aqua Tail. I'm like, I knew I was normal, but I didn't even think about the you are also half ground. So that's unfortunate. I'm going to hit with Aqua Tail here. Super effective. It takes me to the one, like 1 HP. Do get the Thunder Punch off to take this out. So yeah, if I play this again, because then you don't need to like rely on the bait, right? That's the problem with this Pokemon. You need to rely on the bait or you need to land the high horsepower. So get it. And this is, yeah, this is it. I was like, what is he running here? What am I, what am I getting smacked with? You're getting smacked with a rock smash, a fighting type fast move. But obviously he goes down quick. Gardevoir comes in and now I'm in huge trouble because I need to land two avalanches, but I do not know how to time properly. So I'm only going to land one here. That is too bad, because if I landed that, this game was over, but that is not. And I should have went two Aqua Tails here, too. I misplayed this game real bad. I remember in the moment, I was like, oh, you misplayed this terribly. But it's okay. I did make back, um, I had five positive sets. The only reason I went so well, uh, oh, I did Dragon Breath all the way down. So that's, that's nice. The only reason I did well today was because I was down to 2275. I had dropped 400 ELO in... Um, I dropped 400 ELO in Holiday Cup, and I went five positive sets today with three different teams. Um, one team coming tomorrow, no, Monday. Uh, just put up a couple shorts this weekend because it's Community Day Saturday, and people don't really watch YouTube on the weekends to start with, especially on Community Day weekend. So uh, Monday will be a Togekiss Lee team because there was just, so what is one you're going to see in Master League Premier Classic? I would say 20 of the teams had Gyarados on it. And most of them were Dragon Breath Gyarados. So that is why I led with a Togekiss in my next matchup. And there was a bunch of Dragonites. And there was a bunch of Garchomps. And there was a bunch of Mammoth... Uh, well, not Mammoth Swine. But I, have, I have two answers for Mammoth, for Mammoth Swine in the back of the team. So I paired it with Metagross. And I paired it with Conkeldor. A fighter. Because then you're kind of with, with Metagross and... Togekiss, you're weak to Exedrill, so I paired it with a fighter, and Conqueror is one of my best fighters that I have for our Best League Premier Classic. So that is the team you'll see on Monday. I did very well with it. Again, whether I did well with it, because I was in like the 2300-ish range, or whether it's a good team. I, I Again, I think Togekiss is going to have a lot of play in this meta, because of... I know Mammoth Swines will be everywhere, and I think Mammoth Swine... Like, I'll put out, like, four teams, and then I'll do, like, my best team. And I think Mamoswine's probably going to be on, like, my best team, quite honestly. Um, maybe Dragonite. Maybe uh, Gyarados, too. Like, Gyarados is pretty strong in this meta. Get the full farm down. Have a move, but they also have a move. So we CMP for the loss. Uh, but Tokyus is interesting. Like, Metagrosses are out there, for sure. Mamoswine's are out there now. But, like, otherwise... I mean, Extra Gel's two. I'm using Extra Gel on my third team. But outside of those three, like, like there's a lot of good matchups with Togekiss between the Gyarados and the Dragonite and like like all the like Garchomp stuff like that and just neutral matchups as well. So, anyways, check that out on Monday, uh, and then Team Tuesday, Wednesday, maybe double video depending on how many I others if people submit in the comment below or if I have multiple videos. Uh, so that's it. So thanks for watching. Let me know what you are using. Maybe I can test it out. Uh, and that's it. So thanks for watching. Uh, have a good community day weekend, and I will see you guys in the next one.